morning. So you join me after my two days rest uh, in Bristol. I'm now back uh, in Chepstow. Ooh, oops, slippery, slippery. Uh, on the Offers Dyke Path. And I'm about four miles into it. I've got 17 miles to do today. And at the moment, the going's quite good. It's a bit slippery and boggy underfoot, but it's not so bad. It's certainly warming up. Been less rain. And I'm walking through about two, two miles so far of fairly dense forest. It's quite lovely. Quite eerie as well, because you've got, I think the River Wye is that way. But you can't see anything because of obviously the trees, but also the mist as well. We've got low-lying mist and stuff. Oh, and I'm a sweaty bugger. Tricky stuff. <laughs> oh yeah. It's like it's like needing play though when you feel it. <laughs> there we are. This uh, this way looks a bit more solid. So you join us at uh, a long Offers Dyke path uh, from Pandy to Hay on Wye. We've actually got some cracking views. We've had a pretty stiff climb, which is why I'm such a sweaty bugger. This is Orestes, my well. walking buddy who's also sweaty. Yeah. And yeah, take a look around. It's a bit misty, a bit windy, but the views are just absolutely fantastic. It's really lovely. Really, really lovely. down there and they're beautiful. So, I've just arrived in Kington. Tiny little village. Really beautiful. Full of all these oldie woldy buildings. I'm gonna get a pot of tea and some cake in a minute. Yeah, really lovely. So, amazingly, my tent has just broken in exactly the same spot as last time. But this time I have managed to, I think, repair it. But it's irritating, let's say. But everything is better on a nice day because it was lovely and sunny when it popped and I didn't really care that much. It's warm, it's not raining, it's really quite lovely. But yeah, look, basically the pole snapped again through, the bang in the centre again, popped right up. But luckily I managed to put a bit of piping around it and then I popped to the mechanics. They're just repairing buses over there and I went and got some of this fabric which comes in a repair kit, went over it and then I mask and taped it, glued it all in almost surgical precision really. It's incredibly skilled work. But yeah, let's hope it stays watertight. Let's hope it works. But look at this. 
Beautiful campsite. This is in Kington. Kington so far has proved to be a really beautiful place. Really lovely. It's a nice summer's evening. Well, no, that's a lie. It's spring evening, but it's beautiful. Hello. So you join me on a fairly drizzly uh, day from Kington to Knighton. Some lovely scenery, I must admit. And apparently, tomorrow onwards, four or five days of sunshine and 20 degrees. So looking forward to that. But for now, it's mildly heavy rain. And I'm gonna stop for a pot of tea soon, I think. It has been raining all day. <laughs> uh, but as I said earlier, hopefully the next five days are meant to be really, really sunny. So fingers crossed for that. <laughs> I'm about an hour and a half now outside of Knighton. On a nice day, really, really beautiful walk, but I'll be happy to get to a pub and get a pot of tea or something like that. Bye bye, look at that. Beans. Gorgeous little lambs, they are lovely. Just had a really, really lovely experience at this Watson's Ale House in Knighton. Great location. And the owner, just really, really lovely. She had a good old chat with him all afternoon. He's got some cracking real ales on tap. Yeah, really enjoyed it. Now off to the campsite. Good morning. It's 7.30. I slept here last night. In this little farm campsite kind of thing, just on the outskirts of Knighton. I've got 23 miles to do today to get to a place just on the outskirts of Bishop's Castle. It rained all night, but hopefully today is the sunny day. So fingers crossed. So I've just come out of a quite a wooded area for about three and a half miles, and you come out into this little town called Bucknell. Oh, look at this, isn't that beautiful? Look at them lovely, lovely views. Gorgeous. I've seen pheasants, rabbits, squirrels, loads of birds of prey. Yeah, it's really beautiful. Not the sun though. Where is the sun? I was told it was going to be here today. I'm going to get wound up by the Met Weather Web website. <laughs> Soon enough. So lovely. And these are the Shropshire Hills. Look at that, stunning. Just pitched up. No, that's a lie. I've just woken up, and I've just started making my way towards Wem. And this beautiful little campsite. It's called Ebury Hill Campsite, and it's just situated, funnily enough, on a hill, Ebury Hill, funnily enough. And um, just the views are beautiful, and it's going to be another sunny day. Not as hot as yesterday. Look at that. Though. It's just absolutely gorgeous. If I was a painter or something, I'd be in heaven. But I'm not, I can't paint, I'm terrible at it. I'll leave it to Steffi.
Good morning, you join me on Friday the 20th of April um, and I'm walking on the Shropshire Way at the moment making my way from Hormond Abbey uh, to just north of a place called Wem uh, it's about 14 miles today it should be really nice because I did 23 two days ago and 20 and a bit yesterday so this should be nicer on the leggies and the tootsies and uh, yeah, Shropshire Way so far proven to be very lovely, just farmland. It's a nice sunny day, everything looks better in the sun. And um, yeah, hopefully a good day. Yeah. 